Hi guys, I'm Jacqueline. Um, I'm finally uploading a video, which is really exciting. Sorry it's taken so long. I was still under contract, so I wasn't allowed to post anything. So now I am, and so I'm doing it. I'm going to be answering questions today. I'm not going to be able to get through them all because there's absolutely loads, and so I'm going to try and focus on like ones that are quite similar, and then maybe do like a mum mum one for all the mums that are asking me lots of questions because they're really excited too. So let's get started. Maybe put below what the next video you want me to upload. I am going on holiday soon, so I'm going to be filming that. Filming my plane journey with Ella for six hours, seven hours. That will be interesting. Give some tips. Maybe ask for some tips probably as well. Um, but it's all very exciting. I'm really excited to do this. Very, very excited. A little bit nervous because... I've made everyone follow the account and subscribe to the account, whatever it's called, before I'd even done any videos, which is stupid, because now I know that five, ten thousand people are watching. Pressure. Anyway, okay, so, Heidi Hatcher said, I would be really interested in advice that you would give for any new aspiring actors. I'm currently in my last year of uni studying a course of acting. I'm a little bit nervous what to expect, and the real world, I, I don't want to to give up on my dream of being an actress don't give up on being an actress number one obviously don't do that you won't really be happy until you are um i guess like everyone says have a backup plan but i don't know if that's accurate but um my one piece of advice would be get ready to embarrass yourself and get ready to hear a lot of no's before you hear that yes and don't let the no's get you down, just use them, um, use them, own them, be like, okay, cool, I wasn't ready for that part, I'm not, it, it wasn't for me, because it can be down to the, the smallest thing, like your hair colour, or the shape of your eyes, anything, you don't look like the mum and dad they've already cast, it doesn't necessarily mean that they think you're a terrible actress, and I think you, you automatically kind of think that, so definitely don't get yourself too down about it, you have to be prepared for it because it's going to happen, you're not going to get every job you go for, you wouldn't be able to do it. So yeah, don't give up and be ready for criticism and everything else. How can you be so stunning while whilst maintaining acting in your personal life? Actual talent, question mark. Jock one. <laughs> um, I can't answer that question because on a day to day basis I'm absolutely hideous. I don't really have time to, you know, look after myself the way I should. However, I'm going on holiday soon, which is why I got my lashes and my nails done, so don't judge me. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for that, that's really sweet. Do you have any plans or goals you want to reach now that you've left EastEnders? Um, yes, I really do. Obviously, at the moment, <clears throat> kind of like stopped in my tracks baby-wise, because there is another baby in my tummy. But I definitely feel that fire now that I, you know, I so want to be acting. I so want to be doing, doing something new. Like I'm re really, really, really ready and prepared for this like new adventure of mine. And I'm really, really excited about it. And kind of how I felt when I before I was in EastEnders, I had that that buzz of about acting. And I kind of think I lost it a little bit. Not because of anything in particular. I think just because. I got lost in it. I'd been in a sense for nearly eight years and I and I had a baby in that time and I think somewhere along the way I sort of lost the drive and passion that I had for it. And this has really helped me get that back. So after baby number two, I will most definitely be resuming back into acting and maybe even some singing. I don't know. That wasn't me singing, by the way. <laughs> Can you do a video on how you got into acting? I can do a video on it, or I could just answer it right now. I didn't go to drama school. I sort of went on a Sundays and Saturdays. I went to Sylvia Young on a Saturday for a while. I went to Jigsaw in Bexley Heath. I think they have them other places as well, and I absolutely loved it. I went for six years there, and that was mainly just for fun, but also, like, confidence-wise, they just throw you in, and you're playing games you, you just learn to be really really comfortable with yourself really confident 
in talking to other people and that really helped I think in the audition process like you need that um and I then went to college I went to a college called DMV in Bromley and I was lucky enough to get an EastEnders audition through that and then my first year I had to leave because I needed to join in EastEnders and it was amazing and I learned pretty much everything I know really on the job like you don't you you can you can learn so much on the job it's crazy so you don't necessarily need to be trained I don't I, my my personal opinion I think you are always learning like no matter what just because you've been to drama school for four years doesn't mean that you'll just stop learning anyway so you, I don't know that's just my opinion maybe I'm wrong I definitely have not learned all I can who inspired you to become an actress this is from inspiring sassy ingham love the name um who inspired me to be an actress it was great i kind of felt like i've always wanted to be an actress and i don't really know where it's it began because i just can't remember when i didn't want to um but i remember going to see blood brothers when i was like 12 maybe I don't know exactly the age and I just fell in love with it and I was like that is what I want to do I want to do that I could do that I'd, I'd love to do that and, and it gave me like a taste of it and I, I saw it 11 times because it was my favorite and I cried when it when it closed and it, I was like old I shouldn't have been crying but I was so upset when it closed because I just really wanted to be in it really really wanted to be in it so um, that would be my dream probably weird, a weird little dream because obviously most, most people think that I'd want to get sworn off to America and smash it but actually no I just wanted to be in Blood Brothers in the West End because that's where it all started for me I think um most inspirational actress, actor and why they inspire you just had that question love Jack Joss oh thanks guys um, but why they inspire so <laughs> I love Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio. They're my my probably two favourites. I don't know. I also love Andrew Barfield at the moment because he's just smashing it and I think he's brilliant. And they inspire me because... Andrew Garfield because he's English and he's just absolutely smashing life. And he's amazing. Leo because I've just grown up watching him and I just love him in everything that he does. He's just incredible. And I don't know, when I was younger, I used to just love Johnny Depp and everything that he was in. And I used to just want to be in one of his quirky little films and, and work with him and see what he was like to work with. And I still do. I mean, I would love that. I just find him really fascinating. And every character that Johnny Depp does is different. Um, and I just believe everything he does. So, yeah, they're mine. If you weren't... Oh, if you were... This is a good one. Love Jack Chaucer again. If you were another character on EastEnders, who would you be? Um, I mean, I'd like to be Ian Bill's son or daughter. Because then you're like a Bill. Or... I don't know why I've got this obsession with Ian Bill. I just love him, I think. He's the one that's been in the show 33 years. And I just would love, I mean, he, Adam used to call me his honorary bill, which really was like, it was enough for me. And I did go out with both the bills. <laughs> um, so I had a baby with one of them. And my sister had a baby with the other one. My question is, how did you feel when you first found out you were pregnant with your second? Were you both scared, worried, etc.? Yes! Who said that? Creedy XO. Well, yes, I was. I was terrified, which is weird. I always thought I wouldn't be, <laughs> but I felt exactly the same. I was like, I'm not telling my mum, <laughs> even though you know. Come on, it's pretty obvious now. Uh, I was just like, I just you go into like a different mode of like, well, I'm not telling anyone. I'm ashamed. What what do I do? Oh my god, people are gonna know. You know, what happens when you make a baby? Oh, I just get. I don't, I've already got one. Oh, it's obvious, but I just couldn't. You just do go into that sort of 
frame of mind and it's stupid. I know it's so stupid. Um, also, I was leaving EastEnders. So I was like, I had a plan. Like, my plan was to smash, come out and smash and get another job quickly. And, and obviously that's been halted. And I was like, okay. And then quite quickly I was like, actually, do you know what? It's a lovely age gap. And Ella will love this so much. And we spoke about it. And it was like, okay, look, we'll, we'll do this. Um, and then it kind of wasn't scary anymore. I think I think initial shock is always scary. Like, no matter what happens, you're like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. But now I'm really excited, actually. I, I, I was very nervous, though. I, I think it's normal to be nervous. No matter whether it's your first, second, third, fourth, fifth. I think, you know, it's... Still got to push baby out at the end of the day. Still a scary process. You men, you don't know. So anyway, yes, I was very nervous. Can you do covers? You've got an amazing voice. I'm going to try and do that, but I'm scared. So maybe I have to ease my way in. Maybe put some comments down below what songs you'd like me to sing. And I'll think about it. <laughs> and practice loads. Um. Oh, someone else said, a video of your singing, please. Your mum always shares my mum. Mm, I know. Simply Becky, you know my mum. She always sl slyly videos me singing and posts them everywhere. She's got 10,000 followers on Instagram, my mum. She thinks she's bloody famous. She's loving it. She is. Um, if you didn't become an actress, what profession would you have gone into? Yeah, I probably would have gone down that route of Maybe like a relationship counsellor. Sit there with my glasses like, hmm, well this is what you need to do. Because that would be fun. And I'm just so nosy. I would tell everyone though. And, and obviously you're not allowed to do that. But I would be like, oh my god, so today the client came in. So obviously it wouldn't be great. I know that's not right. Um, how about any beauty and fashion tips you may have picked up? Yeah, that's true. I do get my makeup done a lot. I would say do the eyes first. Then you can wash off all your excess stuff that falls down. Take it all off again, moisturise, whatever else you've got to do. And then apply the makeup again. Um, and just cold water. Warm water, then cold water. Always. Never just warm water. When you get in the shower... Always do a cold shower afterwards so that your hair, everything's closed up. It gives your hair a nice shine. That's why they ask in the hairdressers, do you want a cold rinse? Say yes, because it gives your hair a lovely shine. And I do that every shower because it really, one, it really wakes me up. It closes all your pores so you don't get like spots and stuff because it all your pores are closed. Because um, I always find if I'm rushing and I don't do that, and like, say you start sweating that day or you do whatever you do today, you put makeup on, all your pores are still open because you haven't closed them. Hashtag just saying. 